what is up so we are back with Andorra and uh, this is the second video where I got my blood drawn uh, I'm dying so when I looked at a map when I was like maybe six or something I was like wait there's a country between Spain and France yup welcome to this small little tax haven historically Andorra was the buffer state between the Moors and Charlemagne's empire when the Moors started to decline Andorra fell under the influence of Catalan rulers then in 1505, the Catalans united with Spain, bringing Andorra into Spanish control as well. However, the French still wished to influence Andorra, and thus it fell into the French sphere of influence as well during Napoleon's time. Eventually, they settled on having a dual monarchy where basically France and Spain ran Andorra. During World War II, Andorra became an important smuggling route into Spain from German-occupied France. Shirt change because it is tomorrow. After World War II, Andorra prospered from a booming tourism industry. This prosperity would lead Andorra to pursue more autonomy from France and Spain, culminating in the declaration of a republic with a constitution in 1993. Basically, the princes of Spain and France hold the honorary title of ruling the country. So since we spent most of the country talking about Andorra's neighbors, let's see their other geopolitical relationships. So here's a map of the countries Andorra has relationships with. In terms of the EU, Andorra has a customs union with it, but it excludes agriculture. And yeah, that was the only interesting foreign relationship I could find. So basically, Andorra is a nation that is nestled between two great and ancient countries, yet has managed to stay relevant through letting businesses evade their taxes. Stay tuned, Angola is coming up next.